patient is prescribed 21 milligrams. So I'll read slowly. 21 milligrams is the first quantity I see. Prescribed gives me the idea probably the want because it's for the patient of a drug PO orally TID three times a day. So I can even translate those little things here three times a day just as a reminder if I think I'll forget or and PO orally if we have to give the instructions. Then the drug in stock, stock a very common word to indicate this is the have, is six milligrams per mil. Be careful here, six milligrams per mil. Look where the, the slash is, right there, in two mil ampules. So this is just to tell us the size of the ampules, but the concentration is given here in the first bit in the blue box. I can even rewrite that again, six milligrams per mil. Remember what we talk about in terms of invisible ones? So if it's six milligrams per mil, each mil contains six milligrams. Each is the word that takes us to the number one. So each one mil contains six milligrams. So I could also rewrite this as six milligrams per one mil. This is the concentration, even though the ampule contains double that, two mils. The full ampule contains two mils, and which means the dry ingredient that is, or the active ingredient that is in the air dissolved, will be 12 milligrams. So let's carry on with this. How much will the patient receive? Give full doses, dosage instructions. We don't need to worry about all of that now, because we are always going back to the question before we finalize the problem. But let's try to just analyze what we are after. This is probably going to be a box method problem again, or the formula, because we have three quantities that we need to apply here. Let's just call this the, the have thing. So the have is the concentration of the drug, or here, as I rewrote it, six milligrams in one mil. If we use the box, I'll start with the box again, we are going to enter the have into the box first, so we have six milligrams in one mil. So let's be explicit with that invisible one. It must be written. We have to be consistent. So if, if the quantities are not easy to work out in our heads, at least we will know what to do. So, and the want is our orange 21 milligrams. That needs to be sitting on the top because we are always after matching units, milligram with milligram. If we had mils, we would put it on the bottom, but we actually have milligrams again. So quick estimate here, six goes up to 21. Mm. So it, it was multiplied by something. Six threes, 18. Six fours, 24. So I could roughly say, well, it's more than three, but I'll, I'll say six threes, 18, it will be more than 18 because it's 21. But here, the proportion would need to be maintained. So we would at least multiply by three as well. One times three would give us three. So I'll write three mils here on the bottom as our estimate. It has to be more than three mils from this uh, thinking process we are using. So now let's do the full calc using the box. So main diagonal, where we find two numbers in the diagonal, we multiply them. So we're going to have one mil multiplied by 21 milligrams, or 21 milligrams multiplied by one mil, no problem. And then the third number divided by six milligrams. So uh, just to confirm that the milligrams were matching, so they cancel out and our answer will come out in mils. So one mil times 21, 21. 21 divided by 6, well, we know it's going to be maybe 3 point something, but we push the buttons and do the calculation. 21 divided by 6, three, exactly 3.5. 3.5 mils. Read the question again. 
How much will the patient receive? 3.5 mils is our answer. Give full dosage instructions. So we have to say we're going to give 3.5 mils orally or by mouth three times a day. So we need to actually be explicit in writing this because what we are doing is translating what we had here on the top three times a day. So let's say now the same question if we wanted to solve this using the formula method. So we would write our formula want over have multiplied by the third quantity which could be the volume or the tablets. We'll see what happens here. So same as before 21 milligrams is what the patient has been prescribed. So that's our want. And the concentration of the drug, the drug in stock, six milligrams in two mils. Be careful not to stretch this box too much and end up using the two mils. The two mils is just the size of the ampules. So that's six milligrams. We always need to remember six milligrams per mil means one invisible mil. It's just the number that is not written. It's just like when we talk about uh, 80 kilometers per hour. 80 kilometers in each one hour. So let's apply the formula. Want is the orange 21 milligrams divided by the have. Well, the have is one of these two quantities here because the have is identified by the slash, the ratio, the proportion, the concentration. So it will be either six milligrams or one mil. It just depends. In this case, again, it will be the milligrams because that's what we have on the top of the fraction. So I have to write six milligrams here on the bottom because we need the matching units. Multiplied by, well, the 21 is gone, the six is gone. Only quantity left, one mil. If we were to do the estimation here, 21 divided by six, well, same as before, six goes into 21 at least three times because three sixes are 18. Four sixes are 24 a bit too much, so it's something between three and four. So again, the estimate, we can leave it here on the bottom, would be three. Three what? Well, the milligrams cancel out. Final answer will come out in mils. So I'll leave the estimate of three mils on the bottom. So what happens here? Push the buttons, do the calculation. We get, as before, 3.5 mils. And the instructions, same as before, 3.5 mils orally three times a day. And you would write that down, of course, as we did before, or per mouth, three times a day.